Here we have the Nash Monarch, which comes in a 132, a 135, a 138, and a 142. And this board is really focused on speed, drive, upwind performance, and a really strong platform to take your big air riding to the next level. So when designing this board, the mission statement was basically hold down power, go upwind hard, and ride fast. As you can see on the bottom, it's got a huge amount of channeling, which really focuses the board on grip and upwind performance to hold a lot of power in your kite. So when you're going out in the gnarliest conditions, in 40 knots, trying to send the biggest jumps into the biggest kite loops, this board is what you want under your feet. A huge part about big air kiteboarding is holding the power and getting a great upwind takeoff. If you don't get an upwind takeoff when you're going for a big air kite loop or jump, you're going to end up going downwind more. And if you loop the kite when you're going downwind, you start going too fast with the wind and the kite's not going to catch you. So this board ensures you get the smoothest and crispest takeoff out of any board in the lineup and ensures you go up instead of down. So a lot of the characteristics that make this board a great big air board also make this board a great freestyle board. For freestyle kiteboarding, you want the same thing. You want a great, huge pop and a lot of stiffness and strength in your board so you can stomp those landings and not worry about cracking your board or having to bring multiple boards on a trip. You want something that's strong and is gonna last the test of time. This year, we've got a really cool graphic on the board as well. We've got a nice kind of pirate vibe to old school Nash vibes and also a topographical map of Maui, specifically around Kanaha and the North Shore where Nash is based. So if you're really looking for something to hold down the power, go upwind hard, and something that is gonna last your big air extreme sessions and hardcore freestyle riding, check out the Nash Monarch.